everybody, Great Gecko here, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about some stuff that Monster Hunter probably needs, and that I think it definitely needs. So, first of all, more bonding attacks. Ever since Lunastra and Teostra came out, well, people love their bonding attack. I am not that fond of it because it's absolute chaos and I die within two seconds. But hey, I've learned to avoid it. But yeah, more bonding attacks might be cool. I think I did come up with a decent concept for one with Rathalos and Rathian. Of course, I want there to be these more bonding attacks, but I want those to be to come later on in Master Rank. In Iceborne. For example, the Rathalos and Rathian one would be that big charged up fireball that Rathalos does. I hope Rathian can do that as well, because that makes it possible. They both shoot that at the same time, aiming at each other's fireball. So when they hit each other, there's fireball, it becomes one big fireball heading straight at you. By the way, this is after the actual bonding. It starts out kind of like Luna and Teo, where they fly around each other. Then they do this big attack and hit each other's fireballs. It creates one big fireball, and just as it's about to hit you, it splits back off into five even normal big ch into five normal fireballs, and they all hit and they all work like a cluster bomb to create a big fireball cluster bomb. I think that's a really cool idea. Another thing that I think this thing, this game needs is more times that you get to befriend monsters. Kind of like the Puke Puke in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt crossover quest. How you befriend Puke and he helps you out at the ending of a hunt against the powerful Leshen. I was really in here. I actually don't know what Leshen is categorized as. If he's like an Elder Dragon or something. Relict. Okay, I guess that's okay. So, yeah. What? The, you, def, you befriend a Pookie Pookie, which gives you a guaranteed attack jewel. Woo! Anyway, more monster befriendings. So, what I really want is that, is I'm hoping, is I want it so that maybe you will eventually later on run into that same Pookie Pookie, and he knows that you're a friend of Geralt's. So then he helps you out with most of your ancient forest hunts. So I think that would be kind of cool. Like, every time you go to the ancient forest, at, all of a sudden you have a Puke Puke helping you out. It might be a little bit overpowered, but I think it might, but I think it would be really fun as well. Oh, and of course there would be more quests that, that like there would be specialized quests in the special quest thing where you fight, or you fight some, like a Titsu in the Coral Highlands or a Jiros and in the Rotten Vale, or a Baroth in the Wild Spire Waste, or a Dodo Gamma in the Elder's Recess, and at the end, you have a choice to either kill them or spare them. I think that would be a really cool thing. Like, you're at the end of the quest, and I think it would be really cool if these were like special monsters, like they had already survived an encounter with a hunter, or something like that. Or maybe they just end up surviving you. For example, if you, you hunted down the Titsu and, and you had already broken up it, its flasher things, then you might end up befriending it and like feeding it a potion and or like giving it a max potion or something and then it would reheat, you know, all the way and stuff. Kind of like my idea for that one monster that I came up with. You know, I think that would be pretty cool being able to befriend monsters that have, like, you're obliterating them in battle, and then after or they're limping, you're in their nest, and you have a choice to either spare, to either spare and befriend them, or kill them like you would anything else, and killing them would, get, I think, give you, like, special rewards, because I'm thinking that perhaps they might be, like, deviant monsters, and you have a, cha a choice to either spare them, them or kill them and of course some of them if you spare them they end up instant fainting you and nothing else happens you don't befriend them because if it's something like bloodbath diablos is a deviant you if you try to spare that thing it'll just impale you with both its horns at once because that's freaking bloodbath diablos you know i was thinking like there'd be like a bear off deviant and a titsu deviant stuff like that, or maybe his normal 
ones that have a special quest that have special rewards. You know, I'm just thinking that there's, I'm just thinking that we fight something that comes with special rewards because it survived a hunter and the Blah Deviants do. I'm um, different. Or something like that, you know? Oh, and just a reason why they might, why they might want you to spare them and befriend them. You know, actually have a reason why that might happen and what and they would also give you special rewards if you ended up killing them. Because once they're on a low enough amount of health that you could kill them in a few minutes, that that's when they that's when it does the thing where you have the choice to spare them or kill them. Because what you can do to spare them is what you can do is when you go up to them, you either have the choice to hit circle to spare them or just do an attack and kill them. Of course, you can do that while they're sleeping is what I'm thinking, like when they sleep. You know, I'm hoping it's deviance that you can do that with, which is why you would mo might want to kill them. And some monsters might be just too angry or powerful to be spared and they'd still kill you anyway. So, you know, there are certain circumstances where you end up dying from that. So, you know, you could kill them and get really good weapons and armor, or you could spare them and ha have them help you fight. You know, you spare, by sparing them, you can have them help you out with, with the stronger monsters, like when you're fighting an Elder Dragon or like an Apex Predator or an Invader. They might just pop themselves in and be like, you're fighting something hard. I'll come and help you out. You know, I thought that would be pretty cool as well. Some, so yeah, those are just a few little concepts I have. I don't really have a very good idea in my head of what the friendship thing would be like, but I might, in a future video, come up with some deviant ideas for these, for these few monsters. And I'm thinking that it might then I might just go with the weakest monsters on every map, like there could be a Great Jagras Deviant, a Kulu Yaku Deviant, a Titsu Yaku Deviant, you know, oh, a, G a Great Jiros Deviant, and a Dodo Gamma Deviant. I think it's a variant. And you could befriend them and stuff. They're called deviants and monster hunter, Dad. Really? There's variants and deviants is the difference. Oh. Sorry, I'm trying to tell my dad facts about Monster Hunter. <laughs> True facts about Monster Hunter, episode one. Deviants and variants are different. Variants are just more common deviants. Well anyway guys, I think I might come up with some deviants and make another video. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, everybody. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for notifications on all my next videos. I gotta get to the ending place, and actually, you know what? I'll see you all later. Bye! Awesome ideas outro! It's so cool.